Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Matt. I'm a landscape photographer from South Wales. And if you're not, it's nice to see you again. Thanks for, for coming back. Now, here in South Wales, we are in the middle of um, a, a sort of lockdown period again. Um, the Welsh Assembly Government has uh, put us under a, a fire break, as they call it. Um, which is similar to the first lockdown. We can't, you know, travel far. Um, we can only exercise by starting from home and, 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 and whatnot. And that's had a, a, a bit of a bit of a problem with uh, my landscape photographers and not been able to get out as much as I'd, I'd like to. So I found myself recently browsing on a, a well-known auction site for some uh, for some film cameras, I, I wanted to do a bit of a project um, where I went back to basics, back to um, analog film cameras. So I, I was having a little look around to see what's there, and I got talking to a dealer um, in Prague, in, in the Czech Republic. Um, absolute top bloke. He's uh, um, got a, a lot of vintage, classic vintage, and the high quality. Uh, vintage cameras as well so we, we, we got talking because he had uh, a camera which I wanted which, which one which I wanted for a very long time um, and, and luckily a few months back I found myself in a position where I was able to to buy one of these cameras and I placed the order with him camera arrived a week later uh, I on the internet Bought myself a, a, a load of film to put through it and I've even started developing at home as well so I developed both black and white um, and C41 process uh, color film uh, my film of choice at the moment is uh, Kodak Ektar 100 um, I absolutely love that film and I love the, the colors the vibrancy the saturation the contrast everything that film gives in fact this image uh, behind me um, that was taken on uh, on Ektar 100 and I thought I'd use this video because the weather outside it is it's, it's horrible I'll be honest with you it is uh, it's, it's been tipping down with rain now for the past few days so we can't really go out um, and the rain and, and, and the wind it's, it's, it's blown most of the uh, the leaves autumn leaves off uh, off the trees so they're looking quite bare and barren um, at the moment but I haven't actually shown you what camera it is yet have I, I just, <laughs> you just saw that the square format sort of gives it away um, shall we say but um, anyway I got myself a uh, Hasselblad 500cm um, this is the black or black one you usually see them uh, with the black leatherette and the, the chrome but uh, this is a, an all black one which is uh, not something which you see a lot of and I've got the 80 millimeter car size 80 millimeter uh, 2.8 t-star lens with it and um, this lens is about 48 millimeters give or take on um, a 35 millimeter equivalent um, prime lens and it, it, it is super sharp it is absolutely amazing it's a joy to use um, is this lens and the images is churning out are just absolutely buttery smooth they you know I, you, you you've got digital with your super clean um, noise free images but this behind me this developed this at home and like I says on Kodak Ektar 100 this file once scanned in at 32,000 dpi gives it a bigger file than uh, the Nikon D850 I use for my digital photography. The resolution is a lot higher as well and yeah if, if I zoom in I can take the detail which I can zoom into you get the, see the farmhouse the trees you know, the little barn there the detail is just phenomenal which this camera and, and the lens combination produces. 
I love the flip up what the flip up waist level viewfinder as well. Just see through. Yeah, you can't see you can't see much because it's it's not the lightest in you. But looking through you you're actually looking uh, when you look through this viewfinder. That's the size of your negative. <laughs> you're actually looking at the size of the negative, which is, it produces, and that that is absolutely absolutely a joy absolute joy to use with that um when i got the camera as well i also got myself a a, um, a 50 millimeter f4 distagon again t-star and this is about a 28 millimeter on a 35 millimeter camera so i got a wide angle as well as a standard um, lens both primes they don't zoom they weigh an absolute ton they, they're made out of brass um, these lenses and they're all clockwork and mechanical inside which is absolutely beautiful um, they, they, they really are a joy to use and let's listen, listen to this now listen to this oh, that is absolutely beautiful absolute beautiful noise that is um, so I'm going to go through some images. I'm just going to put some images up on screen, um, which I've taken recently. Um, been through quite a few roles, learning how to use this camera. And I'll pop them up on screen, let you have a look at them. And yeah, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, see how my photography is coming along. And yeah, I'd appreciate it. So um, yeah, here we go. There we go. That's the images I've taken on my Hasselblad 500 cm. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me let me know what you think of them and uh, if there's anything I, I need to be doing uh, better because I'm still learning to use this. Um, I'm still learning and I've got a long way to go with learning how to use it. But I hope you enjoy those images. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you could support the channel and the best way you can support that is to give it a like give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well um, you can also head on over to my website uh, www.mrwphotos.com and in the shop section you'll see my uh, 2021 calendar in there um, discovering wales 
and I'd appreciate if you purchase one of those as well. We'll, we'll get one sent out and make a nice little Christmas present. Um, hopefully next year is going to be a lot better than this year. And I've got my new wall planner up on the wall. I've got three trips penciled in so far, which you can just sort of see behind me there. And they're trips that were um, put off from this year. So fingers crossed that uh, they'll be happening next year. And I'll take you along with me. So you can come along as well and, and, and enjoy the trips and enjoy the photography with it as well. But until next time, um, thanks for watching and take care, look after yourselves, keep safe, and I'll see you on the next one.